Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are finally closer and closer to the end. I know, I'm sad. I know. Um, see my community tab, you'll know that, I, that I've got the schedule up, for, or ready to go for fall. We're getting closer and closer to the fall season and everything like that, so we can you know, keep trucking along with NFL, college football, and college basketball. But tonight, we're talking indoor football tonight, as this week in indoor football. Whoops, hold on. I went a little too far ahead. There we go. Went a little too far ahead there. Um, so, anyway. Let's talk the NAL first. Um, naturally, you know, there's some things in the NAL that, you know, could be done a little better. You know, some things that could be, you know, done a lot worse. But everything, the, the ship righted itself in the NAL, and thus the season is over. The regular season anyway, the playoffs are set, and we're on the road to the NAL championship again. So, Jacksonville lost to Carolina. Yeah, yeah, I know. No Sam Castro, nobody did play. You know, basically a lot of guys for Jacksonville did play. And then West Texas beat Orlando in overtime off of an interception. You can't make this stuff up. Orlando gets to play Jacksonville again. You know, three times in the past four weeks that Orlando gets to play Jacksonville. We probably already know what's going to happen there. That'll be at six o'clock. The what the what, what we needed to figure out was who was going to be the two seed, and the two seed is going to be Carolina. So Carolina will play San Antonio August fifth, and that has been confirmed to be six thirty p.m. at the moment. I believe that's that's what it said on the Greensboro Athletic Complex site. So the final standings. 10 and 3 Jacksonville, Carolina 10 and 4, San Antonio 8 and 4, Orlando 4 and 8, pitiful, and West Texas 3 and 11. You wonder, you really do wonder if West Texas, you know, they had they had fight this year. They really did. Um Orlando's absolutely pathetic. If Fayetteville stayed, if Fayetteville could complete the season, then I guarantee you that it would have been Fayetteville in the playoffs. Or if A.B. didn't mess things up for the Empire, Albany would have been in. But everybody else, I, I expected all of this. I expected Jacksonville. I expected you know, San Antonio with the way they improved. And I expected Carolina. You know, but yeah. So the other thing is, is that the only other thing that I can say about the NAL right now is that Midwest expansion is indeed happening. We don't know where, so don't, 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 don't come at me. Don't come at my boy Jim Marnier, who also can, who, who did confirm this, by the way. He, he's the one that confirms, you know, most of the NAL stuff. Anyway, so yeah, so Midwest expansion is happening in the NAL. Other expansion will happen as time goes on, I presume, because you know, it's the nature of the game. So in the IFL, you might have seen, you know, you might have seen the Northern Arizona Bay Area game. That game was blowout, 68-46. I know all the I know all the IFL first team, second team, you know, guys got announced, but who cares about all that nonsense? We're here to talk about the games. And unfortunately, for the Frisco Fighters, you know, despite having, you know, a great one of the Greatest catches I think I've seen in the sport, you know, failed to seal the deal again. Second year in a row that Frisco fails to seal the deal. And Sioux Falls, Curtis Riggs, Lorenzo Brown, they get one more crack at it. And especially Lorenzo Brown, man. What what a what a gutsy play at the end of that game to give Sioux Falls the lead and to give them the go-ahead win. I know Riggs, you know, likes to challenge a lot, but he, he hey, he did what he needed to do. He, you know, he won one of them, and Frisco had a 27-7 lead and just blew it. They blew it. That's all you can say. They blew the game. That's all you can say. So next Saturday, 
quite early in the afternoon, but very much welcome. Very much welcome. 3 p.m., Sioux Falls, Bay Area. Will Sioux Falls get another championship, or will Bay Area win their first? It'll be live 3 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. I don't think it'll be on YouTube. I think it'll be just on CBS Sports Network. So get over there. If you ain't got it, you probably you probably drop something. Go find a stream for it or something like I'm probably going to do. Do something to watch this national championship, and that'll serve as a good, you know, you know, um, double header to you know Saturday. You know, for me, it's like a quadruple header because I'm watching PLL and then Summer Slams during the Carolina San Antonio game. Pretty much only watch the San Antonio Carolina game as far as the NAL goes, you know, because you know that's the only game that's probably going to be competitive. Maybe Orlando might pull something off, but who knows? Um, yeah. So let's talk about some other stuff. You see a couple logos here of some. Interesting new teams of the California Grizzlies and the Colorado Spartans. You see a couple of interesting logos there. So the CIF split, that's official. Again, I'm not going to speculate too much. The only speculation I can really you know, think about is the Colorado Spartans who were announced. They could be the team that Omaha is working with, but who knows. The unnamed Texas team, they'll be announced later. So Omaha, Sioux City, Topeka, they all left the CIF on Wednesday with the two expansion squads in Texas and Colorado not signing their letter of intent to join. So these five teams are looking for somewhere to go. They will go somewhere. You know, Ricky Burtz and my boy Dukon had a great conversation, you know, um, late Wednesday. And... You know, no AFL 3.0. Let's let's get that out of the way real quick because you know, there, again, that's that California Grizzlies logo. But this was, con- but the logo was announced on Instagram. Same thing with the Minnesota team. They could be called the Myth again. Also announced on Instagram. Not the way you want to do it because I don't have Instagram and I don't think Instagram. You know, nobody really. I don't think. Do people even still use Instagram like that? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, the. AFL 3.0 completely out of you know the minds of these teams, and they want stability, want things to go right, and they will get them wherever they whatever they decide to do. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of speculation on where they could go. In fact, I got a poll up that said, you know, where where do these teams go? You know, we'll, we'll find out in the coming weeks. So other other things again the Nash on here Duluth they're they're uh, the Arena League team they got an owner by the name of Brent Labrie and these team name finalists are the Lakers the Harbor Monsters the Sasquatch and the Norsemen and then the team city names um, the finalists are Twin Ports Minnesota Lake Superior and Duluth. And the AIF which is looking more and more legit each and every single day you have. Jesse Henninger, who's worked with the Massachusetts Pirates. He's worked with a bunch of other teams and stuff like that. He's the chief marketing officer. And Bradley Chavez, he was with the Corpus Christi Fury. He will be the head coach for the Tritons. And then Columbus, they got a new director of game dev operations, Matt Jones. And the Cole Messes, I hope I said that name correctly. She's the um, director of partnerships. So Columbus... We know there'll be somewhere in 2024. It depends on where they go. You know, do they say any AIFA where it's not viable at all because I hate that league so much and I want to, you know, I want to just say unspeakable things about the people involved and they know who I'm talking about. Or do they go somewhere else? You know, there's other teams and stuff like that that are, you know, that could go literally do anything else like West Michigan starting their own league and you know just doing that instead of you know putting the money out there and going someplace else but no none of that none of that but it is what it is it's fine it's fine I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too angry about a lot of these other things but what a season 
it has been, and now we're fully into playoff mode. We have four games left this season. Four. Just four. One of them will be the most important next Saturday afternoon with the IFL National Championship between the Sioux Falls Storm and the Bay Area Panthers. We you think he's going to win? My money is on the Bay Area Panthers because I want to be champion and because it'd be really funny to see, you know, I have no, I have no ill will towards Riggs or Brown. Those guys are great, but I want to see a new champion. That's just me. And in the NL, I can't say anything right now because it's either going to be Jacksonville, it's going to be Carolina, or maybe San Antonio does something. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, I am, uh, by the way, I am 0 for 3. So I'm officially 0 for 3 on championship predictions. Remember, <laughs> remember, I said at the beginning of the season, February 26th, I remember it very well. I said Frisco in the IFL. I said Sioux City in the CIM, and I said Albany in the NAL. How funny is that? That I go 0 for 3 again? No, I don't think I've gone 0 for 3 twice. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely went 0 for 3 again on championship predictions. You know, as far as the three leagues that matter anyway. Isn't that fun to go 0 for 3? You know, that's a strikeout. But yeah, that'll do it from here. Um, Monday, sometime late Monday, I don't know when. Depends on when that game ends um, out in the Western Lacrosse Association. We'll talk, you know, a lot of lacrosse. There's a lot of lacrosse to talk about as we enter the month of August. And so um, I will see you all as far as the indoor game is concerned, next Saturday night, it'll be 10 o'clock around that time because NAL games do take a long time, unfortunately. No, wait, it'll be like 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock because of SummerSlam. I forgot, SummerSlam is next Saturday too. So, you know, it depends on when that pay-per-view ends. And then I'll talk about, you know, the... Um, the IFL National Championship, the NAL playoffs, at least the semifinals, and who gets to go to the championship. And then if there's anything else to nosh on, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. But if there isn't, then, I mean, it is what it is, and there's nothing we can really do about that. But there's nothing else to talk about aside from the IFL and the NAL, which is how it really should be at this point in the season. But, you know, it is what it is. Um yeah, so um, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Um, I know there was supposed to be another collab that you know, but unfortunately, the boy Jayhawk did not. He messed up his file. I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, it's 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 fine. It's fine. I'm I'm cool with it. I, I was like, you know what? It's all right. It's all right, man. We'll try again, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to try a mega um, live stream sometime soon. I know Chris um, said something about, you know, teaming up for a live stream. I was watching um, the one that he did earlier today with Coach Troy. Um, yeah, so I'm still figuring out the details. I know there's less than three weeks left. It, there's, there's two weeks left in the season. I kind of need to hurry up and figure out the details. But I'll, I'll tell you all about those details when the time comes because uh, I'm going to be very busy very, very soon because school starts in, you know, less than two weeks. So, yeah. In any case, that's it. That's all I got to say um, tonight. And I'll see you all on Monday night at like 1130 or something like that. Take care. Have a good night. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel and yeah big boy sports signing out peace